Hi everyone, my name is Virginia Wade and today we're going to talk about abports. These are objects that are manifested from one dimension into another dimension. I went to a church up in San Francisco. It was a spiritualist church and it's called the Aquarian Foundation. And they had a whole bunch of gemstones which are called apports. Basically they manifested from another dimension or they were teleported from one place to their church. They had a whole bunch of them in this case. Some manifested out of thin air as a gemstone. So they were all different colors and it was pretty amazing but they appeared out of nowhere. It was like a supernatural um, thing. And I mean I couldn't believe it but I did see them and the energy and the power of them were pretty amazing. They each had a quality about them. So it was like a channeling. This church they would channel uh, spirits and deceased loved ones and these gemstones would manifest. It was like the deceased were bringing them to certain people in the room. I mean, I wouldn't have believed it, but I did see it with my own eyes. It was pretty incredible. So then I went back to San Jose, and one of the men, um, this guy, he said, well, can I come visit you and, and bring one of these abports? Um, I'll bring one and you can hold it and and see what you think. So I said, okay, uh, you know, I'll meet you over at the Rose Garden in San Jose. So he came to the Rose Garden and he had two gemstones which were pink in color and transparent. They were faceted and they were pear-shaped and they were abhorts. They had just manifested out of thin air and so he got a hold of them and he carried them around with him. Well I couldn't believe it. He let me hold one and the energy of that thing was pure love. It was so intense it just radiated love, unconditional love. I couldn't believe it. It just filled my whole body and it was this intense unconditional love and it was the most gorgeous big gemstone. It was probably at least an inch, inch and a half long. It was a pear shape. It was pretty big. Um, and then he had another one that was pink also that was smaller. They were both pear shape faceted stones. And now I don't know what they were made out of. They were pink and transparent. They could have been glass for all I know. But the energy of them were pretty incredible. The love. So that was my experience with an abhort with two of them. He let me hold them for a while and for at least five, ten minutes and I was just submerged in this unconditional love. I'll never forget that experience. It was incredible. So then we talked a little bit and then he had to go and he left and that was basically it. I never went back to that church because it was in San Francisco and I lived in San Jose and it was kind of too far. It was kind of hard to find uh, to begin with. 
up there in San Francisco. But that was my experience. It was a supernatural experience to be exposed to all that. But it was definitely uh, like a miracle, which just kind of appeared out of nowhere. Um, and they said it was commonplace in that church uh, for this to be happening. They had a whole bunch of airports um, that were gemstones. Like I said, in this case, there must have been, wow, 30 or 40 of them uh, that had manifested there. And so they just put them in this case. <laughs> And they were all different colors, different qualities. Some were joy, some were peace, some were love. Um, they were like gifts from the other dimensions or from um, the deceased. Uh, pretty incredible stuff. Anyway, we'll close the video now. And if you liked it, like below or subscribe. I do have other videos on YouTube, uh, Spirits and Ghost Communication and series, and then I have another one, um, Psychic Attack and Spiritual Protection. You may want to check those out. And then I do have a website, www.opendoorswithin.com. So go ahead, enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.